I organized the OGs in the East Coast and the West Coast and the penitentiaries um, to um, come up with a set of codes of ethics for, for criminals, you know? Like, um, we, we're going to be against drive-bys, kidnappings, attacks on um, people that are not involved with the, with, with the street gangs, the drug trade, or the illegal business at all, you know, all that kidnapping and shooting drive-bys out the car, we're against that. And people who perpetrate that, they have to deal with the consequences when they go to jail, because that's who's going to enforce this code and the thug life that's on the street. It's like we're cleaning up the dirt. I can't change what the dirt that's here, but I can put all this dirt in one corner, you know what I'm saying, somehow I have some order here. And, and for that, they need to give me a little leg room. You know what I'm saying? Let me need, let me do what I want to do because nobody else is going to do it. Nobody else wants to do it. But I'm not scared to walk in the middle of Watts, Compton, Chicago, wherever, and, and sit down with whoever's the OG and say this is what we need to do. And my music, and, and a lot of this music, it's only talking, it's only talking about the suppressed rising. I mean, the oppressed rising up against the oppressor. That's all. That's what my music's about. The oppressed rising up against the oppressor. So if only people that's scared are the oppressors. The only people who could have any harm coming to them are those who oppress. Simple as that. I'm the type of motherfucker that gotta have my own. I got to hustle for my own. And any man out there got to feel me. It ain't about milking off the next man. That's a motherfucking hoe. I'm a motherfucking pimp. I'm finna come up on my own. I'ma get my own sack. I don't wanna be nobody worker all my life. I want my own motherfucking kilo. You understand me? So that's what I did. It's shock a hustler, and I'm a hustler, so everybody understand it. Ain't no one man gonna stay in one spot forever. That's a sucker. I'm a hustler. I'm gonna come up. So I took what little bit he gave me and doubled up and doubled up and doubled up, and I've been doubling since. I'm the type. Yo, what's up, you two? This your boy B, and I had to talk about one of my favorite rappers, Tupac Omaru Shakur. Born 1971, passed away September 96. And the reason why I'm making this video because I firmly believe, like, of course, I saw that movie that came out a couple of years, but I didn't really like it. But they did talk about a few key things that I ain't really know about how Tupac wanted to get out of death row. And Suge's response to that was, like, let's merge and just do like a death row East. Instead of you going on doing your own thing, you could just do like a Death Row East. You could sign your own label, your own artist to the label and stuff. But I honestly feel like Tupac wanted to be his own man. Like he wanted to be like signed to himself and probably like, you know, sign the outlaws and who, whatever other acts. Like I could just imagine what Tupac would have been like today if, if he would have never got killed in that sense and stuff. And I, I strongly feel like Tupac he he wanted to get out death row. He wanted to do his own thing because if y'all can remember, before Tupac even went to death row, when he was doing his own thing, like Brenda had a baby and keep your head up and I get around, like he he already had his own lane already. Like he had his party music, he had his he had his deep songs. Like it's like once he once he got to death row, Suge Knight put a battery in his back and just pushed him like. He, because like, I think before he got to death row, I don't know who he was signed to. I think it was on, on Priority Records, but whoever he was signed to, they was not giving him like his 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 proper money, like the money he was owed. So he didn't really like have money like that. Like he had money to get back, but he didn't have money like as far as him balling out, going crazy until he got to death row. Like, and even then, Cause Snoop Dogg said it, even then it wasn't real money compared to what they really was worth. But you know, they like they like 22, 23, 24, you know, so that money is good money. But Suge Knight basically like withheld money and was was just just beating up people, committing crimes, just and they supposed to be a, a superpower group. So I feel like Tupac saw that and was like, yo, I'm trying to get out. I'm not gonna say that Suge Knight didn't want him to get out of the death row so he had him killed. So I don't wanna I don't wanna say that, but I just really feel like Tupac was gonna get out. He was gonna be a super legend. Like ain't no telling cause he was already in several movies. A movie even came out when he passed away. Several movies, several albums. Like he he had so much potential. He was only twenty five. Sometimes I even I'm like then like when did he have time to just sit and just 
relaxing. And then there's the theory is that he might not even be dead as Suge Knight, Suge Knight and his son, both of them said that Tupac not dead. The the guy that supposedly cremated him, he's gone away forever and never to be seen. And then there's another rumor that Tupac, he never cashed in on his life insurance policy. And they say it's not illegal to fake your death, it's just illegal to cash out on your life insurance policy. And it's like it's like so many other things, like that that fake autopsy picture that said that won't real. And like all the music that came out after he died. Like it's so many like oh, oh what if he alive? What if he but it's twenty twenty one now, like like about six, seven years ago, I wanted to believe so much that he was gonna come back. But if he ain't come back then, he I don't think he coming back. Uh, I don't want to just 100% say he did because I was one of them people just like, I knew Tupac was not dead. I just knew it. he was going to come back at a certain time. But at this point, man, I don't know no more. But it would be something if he really is alive, man. But yeah, it's, them Rubens been played with for years, for years and years. But all, one thing I do know is Suge Knight, he got locked up in 2014 for running over his friend and Karma has bit him in the ass, man. Man, but what do y'all think? Do y'all think Tupac wanted to get our death road? Or do y'all think he alive? It's your boy B. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.